Hey everyone, this is David Brown with the Migration Update for April 30th, 2024 from the Braddock Bay Hawkwatch. Kim and I started out the morning at Burger Park where we walked out to the water and then had a nice walk through the woods looking for songbirds. Here we have a drab songbird perched up in a very vertical position. This is a kind of flycatcher. It's the first of season, least flycatcher. Here we have a finch that's a very raspberry color overall. We can see a forked tail. And if we look at the top of the bill, we see that it is a very straight line rather than curved. This is a male purple finch. Here's an osprey carrying a fish back to the nest. We went up on the observation platform and saw this duck out on the pond with a very big hairstyle and very thin bill. This is a female hooded merganser. Just as we were driving out of Burger Park, a raptor started flying across in front of my car, and just the way it flapped struck me as different. Obviously, I see a lot of raptors flying, and this one just caught my attention, so I shot a bunch of photos out of the window, and it turned out to be the continuing Swainson's hawk. We had a total of 60 species at Burger Park. Next, we made a quick stop at the Braddock Bay West Spit. Here's an American robin sitting on a nest. Yep, it's that time of year. At 9 o'clock, I headed up onto the Hawkwatch platform, and Kim had actually spotted the Swainson's hawk along the parkway, and so there was a lot of excitement of people going over there to see it, and I could actually see it from the hawk platform as well. The weather in the morning, there was just a tiny bit of sunshine, a little bit of blue sky behind me. Out in front, it was clouds with a darker layer of clouds moving in ahead of some rain. Winds were overall light and somewhat northwesterly and then switching to a colder northerly wind and eventually that north wind pushed the flight line inland and we had to move to frisbee hill right when i got out of my car this bird was perched up nicely here we have a fly catcher we see that it's white underneath and dark above and we see it has a white tip to the tail this is an eastern kingbird tyrannus tyrannus in the flowering pear tree down near the boardwalk, I heard the song and then spotted this bird. This is a kind of oriole. We see that black bird-like bill. But this is not the bright orange of a Baltimore oriole. Rather, this is the chestnut color of the male orchard oriole. And they have actually nested in this tree in the past, so I hope it sticks around. Here we have a warbler that's completely yellow underneath, including down here on the undertail coverts. And we see some red streaking on the breast. This is a male yellow warbler. And a decent little raptor flight picked up for about an hour. Here's some turkey vultures going by. Here we have a small butio with somewhat pointed wings, very pale overall, maybe even beginning to molt. This is a juvenile broad-winged hawk, and it's one of the first juveniles we've seen this season. So we're in that period where we're starting to transition from seeing the adults to now we'll start to see the juveniles, especially as we get later into May. And here's an adult broad-winged hawk like we've been seeing. Again, on the adults, we see a dark trailing edge to the wings, and they have sort of a dark tail with a white band on them and a lot of brown barring underneath. And we had some pretty good groups of broad wings moving today. The first couple were overhead, and then the larger groups were more in towards the parkway and then even farther in, probably up above Frisbee Hill. But we had a total of 740 broad wings today. And this brown thrasher was also perched up nicely and singing for us. Remember that brown thrashers mimic the calls and songs of other birds, and they always repeat them two times each. So it has a really distinctive pattern of doing each song two times and then moving on to the next one. Whereas a mockingbird repeats each call or song as many as five times before moving on to the next. From the Hawkwatch, we had 46 species. The flight line seemed to be moving farther inland, so around 10.30 I made the decision to move over to Frisbee Hill, but unfortunately by the time we got there, there wasn't really any hawk migration. So I don't know if the flight line kept moving farther south or it just completely stopped as the thicker cloud cover moved in. Here's one of the few hawks that we saw at Frisbee Hill. We see that this hawk has a long tail and long wings with rounded tips, so it's an excipiter and a small head and a squared off tail made it a sharp shinned hawk. Here we have a shorebird, and we see that it's plain white underneath with markings on the upper breast. One very distinctive thing is the white eye ring, and we see that it has trailing legs and feet that maybe just extend a tiny bit past the tail. This is a solitary sandpiper. Here's a bird that's bright orange and black. This is a male Baltimore Oriole, and they seem to be showing up in pretty good numbers recently. From Frisbee Hill, we had 39 species. 
it started to rain, so we ended the hawk watch early, and Kim and I came over for a brief walk over at the firehouse woods, but there weren't that many birds. Next, we headed out to Ontario Beach Park and the Charlotte Pier and had a nice time birding in the rain, and we even got to see a tugboat. We had a total of 25 species from the pier, and I didn't take any photos because it was raining and I didn't want my camera to get wet, but some of the highlights were five spotted sandpipers, four dunlin, one Bonaparte's gall, and one great black-backed gall. In the evening, we got a message from a birding friend who told us that there were two black scoters out on the lake, so Kim and I ran out to see them. I've actually only seen black scoter one time before in Monroe County, so really fun to see that. You can see the male black scoter here on the right, completely black with a nice orange knob on the bill. And the female's a little bit plainer, but this white facial pattern on the face is pretty distinctive. I did an eBird trip report for the day and was surprised to see that we had right around 100 species today. Today I had eight new species for the season. We had a Sora at Burger Park that we heard call. We also had that least flycatcher, a bunch of gray catbirds, and there was a bobolink in the field next to the entrance road. Over at the West Spit, we picked out a red-necked grebe way out on the lake and heard an American red start. We had the orchard oriole at the hawk platform, and then the black scoters on the lake in the evening. Taking a look at the hawk count report for our migrating raptor totals, today we had 43 turkey vultures, one osprey, two northern harriers, six sharp-shinned hawks, 740 broadwings, three red-tailed hawks, and one peregrine falcon for a total of 796 migrating raptors. That brings the April total to 44,483 and the season total to 52,603. That April total of more than 44,000 raptors is a great total. If we look at other recent years, 27,000, 30,000, 22,000, 16,000. In fact, we have to go back to 2017 to see a higher total when there were 49,000. So really good number for April this year, especially with all the broad wings. In fact, this year we're up around 25,000 broad wings compared to last season when we only had 9,000 at this point. And looking back to some other years, only 5,000, only 4,000. So again, you have to go back to 2017 before we see similar numbers. Taking a look at the forecast for tomorrow, it's looking cloudy early and then partly cloudy with the high in the upper 50s. Winds are starting out light from the northwest and shifting around east-northeast at 10 to 15 miles per hour. And when that wind shift happens, we might have to move over to Frisbee Hill Park. I would expect light, maybe moderate migration tomorrow. For Thursday, we're looking at a mix of sun and clouds with a high in the low 60s and winds west-northwest at 10 to 20 miles per hour. So that's an okay wind. It's not that favorable and it's not super unfavorable. It's the kind of wind that keeps us at the platform and it's a good speed. Expect light, maybe moderate migration again. And for Friday, it's looking partly to mostly cloudy with a high in the low to mid 60s. Winds east northeast at 10 to 20. It's a less favorable wind. We'd only expect light migration. All right. Well, it was another great day of birding. I got to hit a variety of different habitats and there's a really good variety of birds starting to show up. And that will just continue to get better as we head into May. And getting close looks at that Swainson's hawk again was just the cherry on top. So I hope that you're able to get out birding soon as we head into the month where we get the highest diversity of bird species around and some of the most fun with the colorful warblers all coming through in breeding plumage. So hope to see you out in the field soon. From Lyco Birds, this is David Brown. Thanks for watching.